Hi, Rubens here, owner of Private Pictures Corp. Today we're here in East Boston doing a project for Bonnet Capital and I want to walk you through the process of initial plaster application on this accent wall. All right, so this product here has a marble looking finish and it will add great style to this accent wall in this master bedroom. If you're applying Venetian plaster, it's very important that you keep your tools clean so you don't scratch the surface. You're gonna use one trowel to apply the plaster. You're gonna use a shorter trowel to burnish the plaster, which will give a polished looking finish. The first step is you wanna make sure that the surface is really clean and smooth. All little imperfections will appear if you don't crack the surface. So this is the first application. Every application, every coat needs to be relatively thin because this product dries very fast. As you can see here, there's some low spots and high spots where you can still see the wall. And that's gonna go away with the second coat. And um, it's it already started to dry, so I'm gonna get ready to do the second coat as soon as I can. All right, so this is the second coat. And the hardest part of applying this material on the wall is you letting it go. Because if you apply too much, it will be too, too thick. It will take forever to dry. And then you're gonna have to wait longer to burnish it. So, once you do a stroke or two overlapping, you want to just keep going. You don't want to go back because it's halfway dry, so it may start peeling. We just applied the second coat, and now I'm going to burnish the plaster. It is very important that the trowel is very clean and sharp. So when you burnish the plaster, you're applying pressure to the surface. And as you're applying pressure, it's making the surface flatter. The more you burnish, the darker the finish will get. And the low spots are where it's going to look very shiny. So you wanna keep a fiber cloth with you. You wanna clean the trowel. Right, every two or three strokes. Make sure that you don't have a little pieces of dried plaster here because it can scratch the surface. Okay, so for the final step, we're going to apply the wax to protect the surface and use the machine to polish it. Alright guys, so this is how you apply Venetian plaster on the wall. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just shoot us a DM at Private Patriots Court.